Today, I would tell you about a very important and interesting paradox in mathematics, which is known as Simpson's paradox. We know that if A by B is equal to C by D, then the ratio is equal to the ratio of the sum of numerator values and the sum of denominator values that is A by B is equal to C by D is equal to A plus C by B plus D. Now here one curious question arises. Is it true in case of inequalities also? I mean to ask that if A by B is less than C by D and E by F is less than G by H, then is it true that A plus E by B plus F is less than C plus G by D plus H. A plus E is the sum of the numerator values of the left hand side of the inequalities. And B plus F is the sum of the denominator values of the left hand side of inequalities. So A plus E by B plus F is the ratio of the sum of the numerator values of the left hand side inequality to the sum of denominator values of the left hand side inequalities. And similarly, C plus G is the sum of the numerator values of the right hand side inequalities. D plus H is the sum of the denominator values of the right hand side inequalities. So the question is that is it always true that A plus E by B plus F is less than C plus G by D plus H? The answer is not necessarily. Let us take one example. We have 3 by 4 less than 7 by 9 and 2 by 3 less than 15 by 22. Now here the sum of the numerator values each 3 plus 2 and sum of the denominator values of the left hand side inequality each 4 plus 3. So the ratio of the sum of the numerator values and the sum of the denominator values of the left hand side inequality each 
3 plus 2 by 4 plus 3 that is 5 by 7 and uh, in the same way the ratio of the sum of the numerator values and the sum of the denominator values of the right hand side inequalities each 7 plus 15 by 9 plus 22 which is equal to 22 by 31. Obviously here 5 by 7 is greater than 22 by 31 and so 3 plus 2 by 4 plus 3 is greater than 7 plus 15 by 9 plus 22. The inequality is changed. This is known as Simpson's paradox. Let us consider one practical example. A medical study was looking at how well two different drug treatments say A and B work on males and female patients. Here are the success rates that were found. Among males, treatment A eighty one out of eighty seven trials were found successful. That is success rate of treatment A among males is ninety three percent. For treatment B, the success rate among males 234 out of 270 trials were found successful. That is, the success rate of treatment B among males is 87%. Among females, treatment A, 192 out of 263 trials were found successful. Thus, the success rate in this case that is the success rate of treatment A among female patients is 73 percent. Now among females treatment B 55 out of 80 trials were found successful. That is among females, the success rate of treatment B is 69%. Now the question is, which is the better treatment, A or B? On comparison, we find that in the case of males, 
the success rate of treatment A is 93%, which is higher than the success rate of treatment B, which is 87%. In case of females, the success rate of treatment A is 73%, which is higher than the success rate of treatment B, which is 69%. Thus, we find that the success rate of treatment A is higher than the success rate of treatment B in both the cases, males and females. Thus, one may readily say that Treatment A is better than treatment B, but it is wrong. Even though treatment A has higher success rate in both males and females, when the whole trial is viewed as a sample space, treatment B is actually more successful. Taking both males and females together, the success rate of treatment A is 81 plus 192 which is 273 out of 87 plus 263 which is 350. So taking both males and females together the success rate of treatment A is 20, 273 out of 350, which is 78 percent. Now taking both males and females together, the success rate of treatment B is 234 plus 55, which is 289 out of 270 plus 80 which is 350 and thus here the success rate is 289 out of 350 which is 83 percent. Now Taking both males and females together, we find that the success rate of treatment B, 83%, is more than the success rate of treatment A, which is 78%. So, Treatment B is more successful than treatment A. This is Simpson's paradox. Thank you.